Hank and Box scissors, dude. You come back. Oh no, we good. We be charged. Well, boy, I don't really, I don't charge in 2019, and she can charge two weeks ago. <laughs> Talk with people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So everybody that said, Well, we're charged for man's work now. We got there ready to start full time with God's work. Yeah. Right. But you started pretty, you got to be with 10 minutes later, I checked the temperature again, and it was 97.6. I tell people, 
I said, you need the Lord to give everybody a measure of faith. Mm -hmm. And I said, it's so small, it's like a mustard seed. Yeah. And I said, if, it's, if you got bad eyes, you can't see it. Mm -hmm. I said, if the Lord give me that faith, I said, use what you got. That's all you got. Mm -hmm. And I said, if you exercise that faith, you'll move mountains. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't believe it, no, because, no. and they won't use that little bit of faith that they have that he's given us. And even Jesus got there and told him, he said, you know, you're devoted to more greater things than me, but you can't do it if you don't stay focused on the Lord. So the other day, we said all the church and pastor crying and went on and said, wife had cancer and had care of the youth and said, tell me what kind of cancer do And they started to let him know something so many hours. And it like the Lord spoke to me, everybody laying hands on it. like the Lord spoke to me, sit down and lay your hands on it. And I hesitated. And over there, we sit down, you know, you ain't going to lay your hands on that woman. And, and people are looking at you. So he spoke to me again. And he asked me, he said, Johnny, you're a shame. So I, I went around and laid my hands on it again, looked like the whole paper just said, oh. everybody had me a time. What puzzle? I said, now what would the Lord want me to lay my hands on that lady? <laughs> so I called the preacher. I called him the next day. I said, preacher. I said, what's the doctor telling your wife? He said, Mr. John will just pump him up there. And he said, um, he's supposed to let us know in so many hours what kind of cancer and all that what he needs. You know. I said, well, preacher, I said, you call me. You need to hear the words. I said, I want you to call me. You know, for a few hours he called and said, Brother Johnny said, she, I said she didn't have a bit of cancer. Oh, <laughs> that Lord. was nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I had me a good time and had him a good time on the beach. Yeah, that was nice. Boy, that thing pulled. Why? Because the Lord want me to leave my hands. I took the one in the room. But he could. Yeah, but why was he trying my seat? Moses got there taking to God. Why me? I'm the speaker. I can't talk. That's the one that's got there and he uses. David was a little young, minky boy. Yeah. 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 And he took them into a high mountain. And he ordained them to preach the gospel. He ordained them to follow him and preach the gospel. And then he gave them power to heal the sea and run the dead as always. <laughs> I told people, I said, you take Judas and he was sitting in order on the wall. And I said, Judas represents God. The Bible said Jesus was the devil of the end. I said at one time Jesus was the same man because he always reverenced God. He got all right and said, Jesus follow me. <laughs> I said someone another. Jesus bikes with And the Bible said the devil is the end of Jesus. People said, John, the Bible said it's the devil in the end. I said, one of all those devils were the I said, which was born in sin and shaped in the deep. Mm. I said the Lord saved us, did <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I tell a lot of people, I said, if you got there before you became a Christian, you were just as good as the ones who was there to nail it to the cross. But I wasn't there, I said, hey, your sin was there, and that's what you're moving in. And if, and if we do wrong, we've got to repeat. Mm. We're going to repent, we are likewise perishable by this. Amen. Amen. Mm. The other thing the other day, he said, John felt about praying to be saved. I said, I never read that in my Bible where man had to pray to be saved. I said, there's plenty of man. I said, all you have to do is plead from heart and the place of mouth, that shall be saved. Oh, it looked to me like I was right strange. I said, let me tell you something, young man. I said, even the people on the cross, his heart was so heavy. 
He looked at the cross and said, Lord, remember me. He said, today you'll be with me. Oh, you did that. That's Jesus. I said, I'm going to tell you something else. I said, you look like you could ever throw an elbow. I said, I'm strong here. And you say you ain't safe. I said, when the Holy Spirit teach you, the devil's going to put all things in the mind. Oh, yeah. He teach you to say right there. But I said, now listen, you've got to do it if you stand up and make them see it. They cross and they call them. Amen. And they say they make it. Yeah. That's how we ask them, us. Just to make that one step, that one act. If you override the deal, oh, I think that's what I'm saying. 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 That's
one of those two angels of his God. When he got to his house, his tent where he was, it was a Sunday thing. And so death, half the moon was hot. He told him, he said, let me get you a pail of water and let you bathe your feet and set up like one of the three and cool, cool yourself and rest. He said the next morning, he said, I want to cook your thing that I cook for something with him. God in the famous cave and he fed him that night for something. Got up the next morning, God said, Abraham.